In many African states, most problems are traced to poor leadership, poor policy implementation, or weak action to take decisive measures. At the first Nigeria Leadership Summit, tagged Focus on Leadership, CNBC Africa's Oluwa Yemisi Lawal caught up with Nigeria's former Minister of Information to get her take on what Nigeria is doing right or wrong in ensuring transparent and effective leadership in that country. We are doing a few things right, but we are also doing certain things not right enough where we can do better. The general uh, feeling of Nigerians, we are with the masses. You see, when you are in government, you don't know certain things. You don't get to hear certain things. But when you are with the people, you hear more. Nigerians generally, if you want to know the truth, people are unhappy. I would want our leaders at all levels to get more connected to the people. If you are a minister or a whatever you are, you should get connected with the people. You should find a way of holding town hall meetings with the people. Tell people it's not enough for the Minister of Information to go around. It is good, but it's also important for other levels of government to make conscious uh, conscious um, to, to find ways of dialoguing with the people so as to douse the tension in the atmosphere. There's so much tension. Look at what happened yesterday. It, people made a statement by coming in their thousands without any inducement to talk about leadership at all levels, government, the, their position, what they feel. It's not just the leaders, the led also need to do something. What's your take on the state of the education system and the sector in Nigeria? I mean, how are we preparing our youths to become great leaders in future? In our educational system, we need to review the curriculum. We need to add what we were studying when we were small. We used to call it civics. And that civics is, uh, is like educating children about their environment, about Nigeria, about their former leaders, their present leaders, what they did, what the colonial masters. I learned all those things from civics. But our children no longer know that. In fact, our children know more about history and what is happening abroad than Nigeria. All we need is reorientation. If our educational sector is not fixed, the leadership we get in future will be leaders that are trained abroad. And these people trained abroad, most of them cannot connect especially if they went abroad as babies or infants or little children. Because it means that they don't even understand the society they will serve. I'd love to get your thoughts on using leadership as a major driver for, for change and for growth in the country. Without purposeful, principled, focused, knowledgeable leadership, there cannot be any sustainable development. Because you cannot give what you don't have. You give what you have. If your leader is not knowledgeable, then you cannot deliver. If a leader is not focused, is not principled, is not courageous, is not prepared to dare consequences when he or she knows that something is correct, that leader cannot deliver. If a leader is corrupt, the leader will be looking for something for his or her leaking pocket because their pockets are some people's pockets are leaking. I call it leaking pockets because when you are putting things that is never enough, then it's leaking. People are not saying that government is not doing something today. Government is doing something, but we expect government to be faster because resources are there. Even if it's not enough, let us see, let us see dramatic progress. It's happening in some states. The country is at a state where it's looking to amend the constitution. Do you think there are any areas that um, need to be addressed in terms of leadership going forward? This constitutional amendment is a window for the National Assembly to do something for us and very quickly too, especially on the indigenous settler rubbish. How can somebody live in a place, sometimes three generations, and you are still calling that person settler? While our people go to America and UK and become mayor, mayors, when a Kenyan, somebody with a Kenyan father went to America and became a president, and we are telling ourselves here that because uh, your great-grandparents migrated from Oshun to Jos, 
you are not from just. Unity will remain a joke until we address indigenous settler rubbish. It should be place of residence. It should be defined by how many years you have resided in a place.